Hello everyone and welcome to Scrap Saturdays. I hope you're all doing well and I believe this is a Friday. Yay! You've almost made it through one whole week of the whole new year. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. You've made it five days into it. You got this. Yeah, I tried to make this video shorter than 17 and 57 seconds long. No, 57 minutes, 17 minutes and 57 seconds. Ah, something like that. Impossible. <laughs> and I don't even know why there's a variation in light because I don't have a window in my scrapbook room. But as I look at this, I'm thinking, oh my goodness, I have no idea. Maybe I forgot to turn on one of my 17 lamps because <laughs> you could land a plane in here, you know, when I'm scrapbooking. I don't know about you guys, but the things we go through, right? Right. And so I decided after I, the other video I showed you, I went through like my top 10 favorite photos. Whenever I have like a big pile of photos, I really have to condense it down to like my top five. And I do this like a few times with the same bunch, like whatever hits my mojo on that certain day. And so I was just trying to make sure that I could cut down these photos to like somewhat the same size because I'm not used to working with full four by sixes anymore. And I noticed that that's kind of the challenge I have with these photographs is that I need them to be in that Monica size, <laughs> as I call them. Anything smaller than a four by six is a Monica size. And so I'm going to read to you the journaling that I wrote for this first so that I can just jump into what I want to say today. And so what I typed on this journaling tag was this. This was my first favorite coat that I bought after losing my weight. I loved the tightness, how it hugged my body and made me look, feel, so beautiful, free. I floated. I was just so very proud finding how to adjust to this new look, loved my hair, looked just everything. Just everything made me a complete woman and for years, years, I struggled, even avoided trips like these with tantrums, unexplained emotional outbursts, always saying how nothing fit me right. But these, this photo reminds me how far I've, I came, how strong and powerful I really am. This is not just any coat. This is my cape. It gave me superpowers. And I always debate whether or not this is the right place for me to talk about things. And last year, I barely broke the surface. I'm pretty sure by now you've gotten used to my style and what kind of message I think I want to portray. And because it's the beginning of the year, I know that we're all about change and new and newness and goals for ourselves. And... I want to make sure that you guys know that I've been there and I'm still there. And it's photographs like these, these are milestones for me, that remind me to stop thinking that there's going to be better, 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 but that yes, I can actually do something as well. And I don't know if you understand that, but that means that I need to take a pause and accept that when I look at these photographs, when I look at what I'm doing and how I feel in this moment when Alan's taking my photo from across the table, it's, it's pride. And that's such a weird feeling to feel about yourself. It's so awkward to look at the photo and actually feel pride. And to actually say that, to actually type out all that beautiful mushy stuff about myself on this tag to sit there and say that I love the way my hair was. I actually did. It was this amazing curling iron that I had. And when I took it to Cuba, it blew up. <laughs> but that's another story. It used to give me that Farrah Fawcett type curl on the side. I really liked it. I can never find one exactly like it. Anyhow. So last year on my channel, right, I broke through. I came back and I decided that if I was going to do this YouTube thing, if I was going to sit here and speak into a microphone, that I was going to choose something that was way more meaningful to me than just sitting here and telling you the same old thing. But ironically, I have to keep telling you the same old thing. It's just like the other video that I put up. You know, when I told you that I taught my mom how to say I love you, right? 
when I told you that the first 16 times that I said it, she didn't say a word back to me because she didn't know what the heck I was saying? And that the last 16 times that I spoke to her, she said I love you before I said it to her? And that everything we do is a practice of? Well, I hope you guys don't think I've forgotten and that 2018 is any different than 2017. It's better. It's fresh. It's new. And all that stuff that you couldn't process when I was speaking directly to all of you, yes, I'm speaking to you. Yes, all of you. In one form or another, I know you're needing this because I need it too. Because these photographs are older photographs. And it reminds me where I got to on my own. It reminds me how I felt wearing this coat, walking around, how proud I was of myself. How for the first time in years, years, I was too excited to put on every outfit I had versus the times when I would throw things and stretch out sweaters and just lock myself in the bathroom and delay and delay until Alan would knock on the door and I'm like, I'm not going. We're not going. I don't want to go. I don't have anything to wear. And he would say, oh, babe, you look great. Just wear that. You look fine. You look great in it. Let's just go. We should go. And I didn't have the courage and I didn't want to go because I didn't feel good. And what does that mean? I didn't feel good because other people look at you and they always say, oh, you look great. You look so fine. You're amazing. But what are they doing? Are they not valuing what you feel about yourself? Self-love and self-improvement have to come from you. It takes huge courage, huge courage to talk to yourself in a loving, kind, positive, moving forward manner. Something small like saying, I love the way my hair looks today. I love the way my lipstick looks today. I love the way this coat makes me feel. Something. I know you can resonate with something here, something that I'm saying, because the bottom line of all of this is that number one, it's 2018, and you best be getting in front of that camera, because I'm sick and tired of telling you the same thing, and I really, really mean it. You need to take pictures of yourself. Two, you need to put down the word beautiful 500 times in a row before it even breaks through. Because the first 500 times, you're not going to believe yourself. You're not going to want to know. You're not going to believe that you are beautiful. You're not going to love the way your hair looks. You're not going to love the way that outfit sits on your body. I know because I was there. It takes 501 times before it breaks through. And it will. And it makes a difference. And I slowly saw a lot more of that happening. And I'm slowly seeing this tiny little trickle of a change. And that's why I'm making this video. And that's why I'm sitting behind this microphone. And that's why I'm sharing with you a deep journal entry. It's very precious to me. I'm humbled by reading it out loud. It takes a lot of courage to write this and then put it out here because you can sit back and crack into it and think, oh, she's got it all figured out. Look at her writing all that stuff. No, it's not easy. It's a practice of. I still stop. I still hold my breath while I'm typing it out. I still have to remind myself that the words that I chose to write and type onto this tag are true. That's how I felt. That coat was a cape for me. It transformed me into the real Monica that I was, hiding behind so many layers of anger and sadness. So many pounds that I carried around, and I carried them because I was a child of abuse because I was a loveless child, because eating was the only happiness I ever shared at my family's table. The rest of the time we lived in sadness. So eating food comforted me. I didn't eat because I was hungry. I ate because I, I craved the joy. And my culture associated eating food with joy and happiness. And then one day I remember my dad, we were sitting at the table and I don't know what happened and something about, I said I was hungry or something like that. And my dad looked at me and he's like, oh yeah, because if you didn't eat for a month, it, it wouldn't harm you at all. And in that moment, I think I was either seven or eight years old and I was an obese child 
And I remember so vid- vividly that my dad cracked, like he literally cracked me in half. And at that moment, whatever superpowers that I had as an eight-year-old kid, which weren't very many because my stories start at like four or five, but in that moment, he tore a hole into my cape. He pretty much ripped it off my back. And it's taken me years, years to not only find my cape, but to wear it proudly. And so at a young age, I was really making the connection between why I ate food. I started to learn to make excuses as to why I was overweight. And then I forgot about my superpowers. I forgot that I was beautiful woman and that I was strong woman and that I was lovable woman. And until recently, I didn't even find my voice. I stopped talking. I stopped telling truths because I didn't want anyone to know about the truths or the truths in my house or how I felt. I just hid behind really big, big, bulky sweaters, hoping that no one would ever see through or ask me where my cape was because I didn't know what to tell them. I told them it was genetic. Yeah, I was genetically born without a cape. I told them that I had tried so many different capes on, but they just didn't fit me. They didn't make capes to fit my size of body. I said everything. And so these two photographs was me sitting across a table from Alan. And I can tell you for positive sure that I've known him for, I don't know how many years up until this point. And there's probably like a huge pause in pictures of myself maybe from the time after I got married to the time until right after I had my son, which is shortly after this, when I found myself again, when joy re-entered me, when being photographed was pleasant, when saying things to myself like, hmm, I look pretty, I like my hair today, when walking down the street and going to social events actually excited me, let alone all the other stuff that I had to deal with, but just me personally, who I was and what I was dealing with, to validate the glory that I was given to be a human being on this earth is huge, my friends, huge. So I don't know what cape you need, whether it's a coat like mine or a beautiful dress for a wedding that's coming up or a bathing suit in the summer or your work outfit. I don't know what cape you're looking for, but I want you to trust me, it is out there. I don't know how to tell you how important it is to take care of yourself, to repeat the words, I am beautiful, every single day in the mirror. When you get up, when you look at your body, I need you to repeat after me, I am beautiful, I am worthy. I am super beautiful. It will break through. I choke back from all the tears and all the emotion that I get because I really wish I could reach everyone and I could tell you that it's taken me so many years to get this much courage. And I don't take any of it lightly. And I don't know what it is that you need from 2018. And I started off with that in my last voiceover. January 1st. I know that's when my video goes up now, but at the time I didn't know for sure. And so I have said it before and I will say it again. It is not selfish. You are not being conceited. I don't like that definition. It's called self-love and it's called confidence and we're going to change that language together. And every time you do a layout about whatever it is, you have to promise me you have to come right back with a layout about yourself. And you don't have to show anyone. It's a practice of. And we're going to practice this year. 2018 will be the year of self-love. It's hashtag self-love, hashtag scrapbooking myself. You have to. You owe it to yourself. You owe it to that eight-year-old little girl at the dinner table who for one second, one second, 
closed her eyes and her world was destroyed because somebody took off, ripped off her cape. They weren't allowed to do that, but they thought that they could, and they did. They won for many years. They did. They won for many years. And so I just love it. I love the little girl, the Autumn, that's her name, <laughs> with the braids. Yeah, I wish she was wearing a fur coat. I mean, it would kind of match, you know, my picture a little bit better. But I love it. It took me a long time. I really kind of fumbled with the positioning of the pictures and all that stuff. I really wanted to keep the border on the side because that scallop edge is so nice. But in the end, I really love the way it turned out. And I use the flare badge as my title. I haven't really been going back and forth and using any, you know, thickers for titles and stuff like that. I just kind of let the, you know, layouts fall into place the way they need to be. You know, but I really, 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 really like it. I think I love these colors the most. They're like the perfect mixture of a touch of gray black with the pops of pink and green here and there. And it just looks really awesome. And so, yeah, I hope this wasn't too deep, but it has to be deep. Sometimes we have to dig deep to plant something new, right? We have to push that seed a little bit further down so that it can get really, really strong roots so that it can grow and flourish into the right thing, right? No more shallow roots anymore. Only truths, right? Self-love and truths. That's what I'm all about. And I hope you're okay with that. You have to be okay with that. Because I'm rooting for you. I'm on your side. We're on the same team. We're on the same team. Make time. Rule number one, <laughs> take pictures of yourself. Take pictures of yourself with your loved ones. Number two, make time for yourself in your craft room. Get in there. 10 minutes. Put on the timer. 10 minutes. I don't care if all you do is shuffle around paper. You got this. Number three, the title beautiful you own it. You are beautiful. You are precious. You are loved. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much for everything, for allowing me a place to express my voice and express my feelings and express my love. Make time, take time for this hobby, because as you know, this hobby heals, and I will see you all very, very soon.